Good evening, my beloveds. It is indeed a pleasure to be here with you this evening in this way. I would have you to know that this is a bright, shining circle of light, and there are many, many others joining you from this side of the veil. As you come together on these Wednesday nights, there seems to be more interest all the time. And as your interest grows, you attract more from this side of the veil. As you bring your questions, you bring your shining auras and your interest, then those who are on this side see this and they come to learn too. Those who did not have an opportunity to learn while they were in the physical, the things that you are learning here. I would like to talk tonight about caring. Yes, I care. Can you say this? Can you say this about everyone on this planet? Can you say this about everyone in the universe? If you can, then you are saying it to yourself. Because in true reality, my beloveds, we are one in life. There is indeed but one life in the whole universe. And you and I are different expressions of this one life. And when we care for each other, we care for ourselves. When you go about your busy days, take time to think about smiling at someone, even a stranger. You never know when a smile will turn someone from their negative thoughts and destructive thoughts to, well, maybe someone does care about me, and give them the inspiration to move in the direction of the light. There are many, many on your plane who are lonely and feel that no one cares for them, for they have distanced themselves from their families and their friends. And I tell you this, for it is important for you to know at this time, so many on your plane are taking drugs to kill the pain that they have within themselves to numb them from the thoughts and feelings that they have that no one cares, that no one loves them, that they are unable to love others. And this is the real cause of your epidemic that you have called it on your planet, especially in your country and in the countries of Europe. As you think about these things, think about sending love daily to all those who are lonely, to all those who feel that they are separated from the planet, from the world, and from all others. For there are many, and there are some in this circle who have had those feelings at times. Not recently, maybe, but in this lifetime, you have had those feelings at times. It is important that we shine our light as much as we can. For, my dear ones, you are light bearers unto the world. And as you realize this and bring about the light of understanding through helping those who are alone, who are wandering in dimness and darkness, helping them to know that someone really does care. It may be a stranger or it may be one of your best friends 
and sometimes people hide their thoughts from you to not let you see how they feel. It is interesting that some of your countries are sending students and exchange students and people and groups of people to learn about your countries and our country going to learn about their country. This is drawing the planet into a close knit group that will soon be one planet and no countries. It will be one world as it truly is already, but in the minds of the people of this planet there will be one. There will be no boundaries, my dear ones. The boundaries will go down. And when people turn loose of their fear, turn loose of making war, and understand the true reality of life is divine love and light of understanding, then their souls can be healed. And you can do so much in this area on other dimensions. Your knowing how to send love is important. There are times that we have talked about this and some new people have gone away without the article on sending love. Remind Donald to give this out or put it in a place where those who would like can pick it up. It is very important it is very powerful, and you who have been using it know its power. When you can know that all you need to do to be a channel is to be willing. You don't have to be perfect. It doesn't matter how many mistakes that you've made in the past. All that matters is this moment, right now. And if you are willing to be an open channel then God's love can flow through you in great abundance to the whole planet, to everyone on the planet, to everyone in the universe, because it is all-powerful and all-wise, and it knows what to do. But there are times when individuals need physical demonstration of someone who cares, and this week I would like for you to consider this and think of the people that you come in contact with daily and also the people that you might meet for the first time. When you can give them a genuine smile and shake their hand or in close circles such as this, give them a hug and let them know genuine, genuinely that you do care. You see how much easier it would be for this whole plane if everyone would let everyone else know that they care. It would eliminate all the fears. It would definitely eliminate the wars and in time it would eliminate all illnesses there will come a time in your new age, my beloveds, when you will need no police force, no armies, no hospitals, or doctors, because, my dear ones, you are moving into a higher consciousness every day on this planet. This planet is raising its vibrations every day, as I have told you many times, and as you move in, to this new age, all these things can be eliminated. Think of the resources then that you will have and the time that you will have to bring about constructive things instead of spending so much of your time in making money to buy arms. Think of the time that you will have feeling good instead of feeling 
drugged out or depressed or tired all so many things that have to do with your understanding of the laws of life and your thought patterns. As you raise your consciousness, you raise your vibratory rate on all dimensions of yourself. And as you tune in to that higher part of yourself and allow that God being to come forward into your life, then you eliminate the physical disease. You eliminate hostility within yourself and you attract those who are not hostile. You attract those that are like you. And this spreads, my dear ones. There is a question in one of Donald's classes. Love, joy, and peace are contagious. And so are hate, fear, and whatever in the negative. And so if we can eliminate these fears, if we can eliminate the negative thoughts and practice, give your earnest, full self into re-educating your mind and especially your subconscious mind into thinking only positive thoughts, only loving thoughts, and taking time throughout the day to send love, to send God's love. Because, my dear ones, let me remind you that as God's love goes through you to help others and to help many other things, it automatically helps you and it raises your vibrations. It brings about a higher consciousness. And as you give, so shall you receive not just the measure that you give but you will receive multiplied many times this is the law of life when you plant a, a grain of corn and it is tended correctly you get many grains of corn when you harvest do you not and you see as you send out thoughts of love and beauty and joy and as you express love and joy and beauty to those around you in an outward way then you get it returned but when you're down on yourself and you feel ill about yourself and not sure of this or that then you put those kind of vibrations into the ethers and those around you may not want to be around you and they may not know why consciously but on a subconscious and an unconscious level it is because that you're putting out those kind of feelings and so it is wise for you to be aware of what you are putting out into the ethers. It is wise to really care. Care first for yourself. Care enough to be the divine being that you are, to demonstrate it in the world and within your own mind. You first have to start within yourself of demonstrating your thoughts and your feelings and then it is automatic that you demonstrate it outwardly. And what you give, you receive many times over. This is the joy that passeth understanding, the joy of giving, the joy of giving loving vibrations into the ethers, the joy of giving love to yourself, of feeling divine love, within the center of your being and then let it flow out from you. This brings peace of mind and physical relaxation and it brings a higher state of consciousness. It brings about a greater understanding of life 
a greater understanding of yourself and when you have this then it is much easier to understand others around you life is such a beautiful thing when you allow it to be and on your plane you have the choice to allow yourself to be fearful or to be loving and it is that simple my dear ones you have been programmed for many lifetimes some of you to be fearful to be negative to worry to be anxious but you don't have to hold on to this you have within the center of your being the power of God and when you bring this forth and allow it to be used in your, within yourself changing the vibrations of your mind and of your body and of all dimensions of your being then can you give much much more to the world because when you constantly feel good about yourself you're always feeling good about life life in general the whole of life life and God are synonymous and life loves you very much God loves you with a love so great that you could not begin to comprehend with your physical mind but you can learn to tune into this love and have a greater understanding of it every day to allow it to become a part of your consciousness and to allow it to be expressed outwardly you are a bright shining circle of beautiful souls would you care to ask a question this evening perhaps uh, if I could clarify then if we find ourselves at a place where we have a low self-image or feel that no one cares about us then by showing love or care for others we will come out of that feeling or tend to receive and knowing that we are loved yes it, it would help this is a, a good prescription but also it is very important to go within yourself and realize that the love that God has for you to remember that God is the life force that you are he dwells within you and he loves you with this love so great you cannot begin to comprehend it with your physical minds and when you meditate on this and realize it then it is much easier to demonstrate love to others around you and I do not mean for you to go out preaching it on the street corners or anything like this but just when the opportunity presents itself when you pass someone on the street or you're walking in the park do you look down at the ground or do you smile and say good morning or good afternoon there's a lot of difference some people stare at the ground and walk on because they don't want to be bothered they are afraid they may get into something they can't handle but when you genuinely look them in the eye and smile and say good day to you there are many countries where this is an open thing and fear is not so rapid and there are many countries where it is. Did this help your understanding? Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Are there other questions this evening? Do you feel that that expressing love and sending love um, are good preparations to to heal the earth I mean is that realistic to to think that it will heal the earth yes as you ask the question speak a little louder 
the question was sending love and helping to heal the earth. Is this your question? Yes, I, I wanted to know if, if sending love is um, can be directly responsible for healing the earth, or are there other things that we need to do? Well, you can send love directly to the earth. The earth, the planet earth, is an entity just as you are. It is a child of God. And there may come a time in your sojourn in eternity that you may play the role of being a planet, being the life force of a planet. To some of you, this is foreign to your thinking. But you see, Mother Earth has given us everything physical that we need. It has mothered us, and we have polluted it and done many things that have has harmed it. And it is good to send love to the planet and to the spirit of the planet every day and send love into the situations where it is being polluted. Send love to help solve these circumstances, to bring about different answers so that we can have a clean energy. My dear ones, there is a clean energy waiting for someone to bring it into your physical plane. There is a clean energy that is so simple and can be used by everyone on the planet with very little cost in your monetary system. And it will not pollute your planet or your air or anything. This is around the corner and will soon come in to the understanding of your scientists and the ones who are working in this area. Send love into this coming down into our physical understanding. There are many, many things that you can send God's love to, and there are many things that you can help in the whole universe, not just your planet, my dear ones. Remember, you are a child of life, and life is prolific throughout the whole universe. Life is everywhere present, and life is another word for the Spirit of God, is everywhere present. Are there other questions this evening? I have another question. Yes. Is there any time that sending light and love would be harmful to anyone. I, I've heard that there, there are situations in which it would be harmful. Are you aware of that? No, this is untrue. Everything in the whole universe is created out of the substance of God's love. And so how could the life itself be harmful to anyone or anything. 